Breaking news now, in the past few moments, transfer deadline day has witnessed its first casualty. Kevin Keegan has been shot in compliance with the transfer window. However, Keegan was declared dead three minutes after the window had closed. Due to this error, his finances and estate, estimated to be worth in the region of £19 million, will pass over to Mike Ashley instead of Keegan's widow. Sad news there. Well, we're just hearing some reaction now to the fallout of the David Villa transfer. That move to Liverpool falling through in the last minute. Well, in fact, Rafa Benitez has now smashed the transfer window. The window has been in place for some months, but Benitez has now smashed it. This, of course, coming hours after the transfer deadline had fell down, only to be picked up by FA Chief Executive Ian Watmore. Now, interesting development at Soho Square. The FA has announced that football doesn't actually exist, and the transfer window was actually caused by a black hole which created a tear in the space-time continuum. A book published in the past few minutes by Caroline Quentin entitled The Football Lie explains how this has been covered up since the late 1800s, and a new pamphlet, which is now available from every chemist on the planet, advises football fans how to deal with the harsh reality that one of their main passions is in fact a myth. That one features a foreword from Todd Carthy. Seems like we've been wasting our lives dedicating to something that doesn't even exist, Julian. I know, Nick. Unbelievable. Well, coming up after the break, we'll have all the latest on the Alan transfer. Why Dave Besson wishes he was a duck with feathers all over his arse. And more transfer information, including David Bentley, who has now started to snow. Now, although the transfer window closed at 5pm officially, remember that clubs are still able to wheel and deal due to the freak weather which has made the country go bad today. Indeed, Nick, and uh, well, we're just reaching us here that Sheffield United winger Lee Williamson has rejected approaches from Portsmouth and Everton, but has agreed to join Pontins. Savage blow that for Portsmouth especially, who were due to sign Giovanni Dos Santos from Spurs earlier on, before he literally fell through, ending any chance of a deal. OK, we're just hearing uh, breaking news on the situation regarding David Bentley. Remember, he's been stuck in snow all day and groundsmen at Tottenham have been doing their level best to get him out. Well, we're hearing now that, in fact, David Bentley has passed away. Uh, no statement as yet from Tottenham Hotspur except to say that David Bentley has legally been pronounced dead. Uh, Bad news for Tottenham fans there. Uh, remember, they've already lost Luka Modric for six weeks, but needless to say, we'll bring you that statement from Spurs as and when it happens. Now, here to discuss today's happenings as they happened, we have Richard Armitage from the Sunday Times. I don't know what you're doing here, Richard. It's Monday! <laughs> well, yeah, you might say uh, I missed the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Richard, firstly, I had to draw your attention towards that story from Soho Square, the FA announcing that football doesn't exist, and the transfer window was, I quote, actually caused by a black hole which created a tear in the space-time continuum. Richard, how significant is this? Well, I don't think it's too significant. You know, people are always going to knock football, aren't they? I don't think it's going to make any difference to your average supporter. You know, they'll still flop the grounds up and down the country, and I think come the end of the season, people have probably forgot all about this story. OK, moving on from that, it's been a sad day in many ways for football. Uh, our main story, Tony Hibbert moving to AC Milan, which has upset many Milan fans who are protesting outside of the San Siro. Of course, they've also lost Brazilian international Ronaldinho, and Martin O'Neill's intention not to make any additions to his squad was ruined in the last minute as he mistakenly bought Glenn Little for £3 million from Portsmouth, of course. Yeah, particularly sad for Martin O'Neill. You know, he's had such a good season so far. He was adamant that he was content with his current squad and to sign Glenn Little for three million pounds with a minute to go, you wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy. It's also been a sad day in terms of casualties, of course. We have some stats to show you. Here they are. Firstly, let's look at the number of people who've turned blind throughout the window. Pascal Chimbonda, Buddy Holly, Queen the Band and Queen Elizabeth II. And now the number of deaths, only two this time round, with Chris Eagle still only confirmed as missing. No, in fact, we've been told he's dead, but that's still down on last year's total of five. Yeah, Kevin Keegan, he, he, he died early, and David Bentley. I think with Eagle's death, that now makes quite a respectable figure, but, you know, still overall quite disappointing. And elsewhere, Martin Keown has gone insane as a direct result of the January transfer window we're just hearing. Well, I think we could all identify with that. You know, we've all suffered the strain in one way or another. Indeed, and sad news about Kevin Keegan, Richard, who's been such a legend in the game. Yeah, you know, he leaves behind a tremendous legacy, and it's a shame that it had to happen, but I think Kevin probably knew his time was up. 
Okay, well, I think your time's up now, Richard. Thanks for coming in and giving us your views. Yes, and we want to hear from you too. If you're a football supporter and you want to give us your opinions on the day's twists and turns, do drop us a line on 0700 509 Olympia, followed by all the nines. Or alternatively, you can email us and you can find that address by going through Google and clicking through the various links. Now, news about Julian Lescott's transfer, which happened just a few days ago, of course. Well, Lescott has revealed that he has joined Manchester City by mistake. Lescott has released a statement claiming that a bar cocktail made him think he was Matthew Upson. Lescott reveals he signed for Manchester City in a drug-induced stupor, which led him to believe he was actually Matthew Upson. He says, The move from West Ham seemed a good one at the time. I was convinced I needed to leave to further my career. He goes on to say, When I awoke the morning after, I looked in the mirror and realised I was actually Julian Lescott. I couldn't believe what I'd done. I immediately phoned Matthew Upson to ensure I wasn't him. It's not an ideal situation, but I'm told by my lawyers that the deal is done now, and although I have no recollection of signing a contract, apparently it's totally watertight, and there's nothing that can be done about it now. I'll just have to knuckle down and make the best of it. Well, a quick roundup now of stories that haven't made the headlines. Norwich City have copyrighted football due to a legal loophole. This means that they are now the only club in the world permitted to play the sport. The other clubs may not appeal. Jimmy Bullard claims that Hull City are better than the A-team. Leighton Orient have signed midfielder Stomach Cancer from Chelsea on loan for the remainder of the season. It's a great day for Stomach Cancer, says Orient Chief Barry Hearn. It's a great day for football, says Middlesbrough manager Gareth Southgate, as Middlesbrough have signed football in a contract said to be drawn out in chalk. The beautiful game will be played at the Riverside till at least 2013, though with the news that Norwich City now own the game, it will be interesting to see if Borough can get permission from the Canaries. And the Canaries have confirmed that that will not happen, so no football for Gareth Southgate's men. Well, but better news for Dean Windass, who celebrates Christmas today. The player deciding not to wait for the 25th of December and has brought the date forward, as he is expecting a Storm Force 300 BMX. Though news coming through that he's got a Black & Decker instead, so bad news there for Dean Windass. And some late news here. Forwards is now backwards. And that's it. What a day it's been. Yes, incredible stuff. And we hope that you have been as enthralled as us by today's activities. Jack Frost and Sierra Leone will be taking over from us with all of today's reaction on a day that Tony Hibbert signed for Everton. Stuart Pearce failed to make the headlines. And none of it matters because football doesn't exist after all. And we're just hearing that Aston Villa have won third prize in that raffle. They've won a bottle of scotch. Bottle of scotch, that's uh, right down your streets, isn't it, Nick? Well, is that a racist comment? Or? Not at all, no. Please, so, I wasn't implying anything, no. Right, coming up, uh, remember you can catch all of today's reactions on 24 Sports News with Jack Frost and Sierra Leone. But that's it from us today. I hope that you'll catch us tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. This happens every day.